Stainless steel is known for its corrosion resistance and strength, which makes it a go-to material in many demanding applications. However, stainless steel welds can be a weak point when it comes to corrosion resistance. During welding, the high temperatures can disturb the passive chromium oxide layer that naturally protects stainless steel, leaving visible staining and making the material more susceptible to corrosion in the heat-affected zones, or HAZ. To restore this protective layer and optimize corrosion resistance, passivation is crucial for welded stainless steel surfaces. By passivating the welds, you can remove surface contaminants and enhance the aesthetics of the surface and restores the chromium oxide layer that gives stainless steel its corrosion-resistant properties. By passivating the welds, you can remove surface contaminants, enhance the aesthetics of the surface and restore the protective chromium oxide layer that gives stainless steel its corrosion-resistant properties. In this video, we'll explore a few common methods manufacturers use to passivate stainless steel welds and review the pros and cons of each. So acid pickling is a chemical process that's used to remove heat scale and impurities or stains uh, on the alloy of stainless steel. When hot work is performed, welding, cutting, forming, there's embedded impurities that are on or beneath the surface of stainless steel. Acid pickling will loosen or remove those impurities and it's generally used as a precursor for chemical passivation. Mechanical polishing is typically done by fabricators after cutting or welding. It's a good process for removing heat affected zones or weld scale that's on the surface of stainless steel. Having said that, after mechanical polishing, it's important that the parts go through a chemical cleaning procedure like passivation, which will make the alloy more resistant to corrosion over time. Passivation is a chemical cleaning process that's generally done in an acid such as citric acid or nitric acid. It removes the free iron on material on the stainless alloy and it produces a oxygen enriched layer on the surface of stainless steel, making it more resistant corrosion over time. So with New England Electropolishing, what we found the most effective way to remove heat affected zones is actually a light electropolishing process or a mild procedure. What we typically will do is we'll rack parts, we'll put them into an electropolishing bath at low current. This will loosen up and remove the heat affected zones from welding in a non-mechanical fashion. Then we will put the parts through a traditional electropolishing process which will remove any excess free iron on the surface, creating a chromium enriched layer. It'll produce an aesthetically pleasing piece as well, um, producing a nice bright and uniform finish. Electropolishing involves immersing the stainless steel part in an electrolyte solution, then applying a DC electric current. The stainless steel becomes an ode, and material is gradually dissolved from the surface. The process removes free iron, surface oxides and any imperfections, creating a smooth, highly reflective surface and restores the chromium oxide layer, which gives stainless steel its corrosion resistant properties. Electropolishing creates a smooth, polished surface, which is easier to clean and sterilize. Because electropolishing is a controlled process, it can passivate complex shapes and internal welds more consistently than other methods. Choosing the right method for passivating stainless steel welds is critical for both form and function. If you have any questions about what treatments might be best for you, or would like to get a free sample part, electropolished, and return to you at no cost, contact New England Electropolishing today.